She was the light of their lives and the murder of 23-year-old Ashleen Murphy has stunned Ireland. The president and his wife comforted her parents, brother, sister and boyfriend as they arrived for her funeral. The primary school teacher's class of five and six-year-olds had waited outside the church to say goodbye. The Prime Minister, Taoiseach Micheál Martin, was also there to hear her family's emotional tribute. Ashleen epitomised the beauty of life and shared her passion, gifts and talents with others so generously. We pray for her friends, colleagues and students. May Ashleen's legacy live in the hearts of all she touched. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Ashleen Murphy was attacked while jogging beside the Grand Canal in Tullamore, County Offaly. The nature of her death has prompted an outpouring of grief, anger and hope for a change in attitudes. We pray that the many vigils that took place in memory of Ashleen mark the beginning of an end to violence against women. May the candlelight tributes bring an everlasting hope to all those that live in fear. In a post on social media, Ashleen's sister Amy described her as the heart of their family. She excelled in the sport of camogie and played the fiddle, her family well known in the traditional music community. And here, deep in the heart of Ireland, musicians honoured one of their own as she made her final journey. David Blevins, Sky News, in Mount Bolas.